hi there how's it going um so in my previous video i showed um how to basically convert a a text file um that is pipe delimited into a data frame in spark but in this video i'm going to show you how to uh, basically convert any a text file into a data frame so the previous video was about reading a text file as a data frame so this one will be about uh, converting any text file uh, that is uh, any delimited text file file into a data frame so without further ado let's get started so i'm just going to commit this uh, a previous method out so as you can see here um when we read a text file, we have this uh, uh, value as a column and we, we get the content of the text file uh, in this uh, way. So what I want to do is basically convert this content into a data frame using the pipe delimiter. So let me define a new data frame called person df2. Uh, what I'm going to do is basically uh, use uh, split it by the delim delimiter, right? So I'm going to use with column method and the value column, which is already there, and I'm going to use split method. I'm going to split the uh, value column by a delimiter, a pipe delimiter so to be outside the column so um so okay so paste so okay what i can do next is uh print this out for you to show uh, for you to see sorry uh, so person df2 dot show false Prints. I'm getting error. Force is wrong. One again. So as you can see, we have a we have it as an array. So the next thing I want to do is basically get the column size. So I want to find the uh, the array with maximum uh, size. So like um, in normal way you can use array.net for example in JavaScript. Um, so I want to find the length of the array. So uh, colon size equal to um, person df2 dot um, with colon. So the colon is going to be value. So we still have value as column right. So here we still have value as column right. Um, so I'm going to use size. So there is size method in Spark that you can use. And uh, call column is uh, I want to find the size of value, the size of each record, right? And uh, so once I find this size, I want to get the maximum size. So I have to use aggregate method and uh, and use the maximum maximum the maximum of value. So I want to get the first first one and. Uh, So since size is going to be integer, I want to use get int. So it's going to be zero. So I want to get the first uh, index. <coughs> so if I run it again, so I'm going to show you the reason I need to get the column size in a bit. Why? Um, that was just for nothing. Okay, I'm going to use print line to use call size. So the size should be three, right? What I want to do is uh, basically convert it to uh, a data frame, the initial data frame. 
so I'll be using get item method so var uh, person df3 equal to uh, call um, person df2 dot select so I'm going to select from so this is the reason I need column size right because I want to get each of the data in this uh, in this array right so this will be at a one at a two at a three to the uh, end of the you know column so if we have three columns we have to get three uh, you know three at a so we have to make sure we get all the assets in that uh, um, uh, data frame so I'm going to use the zero and the, the column size so it's going to start from zero index zero to until the column size then I'm going to use dot map so and I and so um call so I'm going to be dealing dealing with the value column so that will be called value dot get item so I want to get each of the items. So get item I, and I want to get it as uh, as. So that would be um, call I. So that would be call zero, call one, call two, call three. So after that, what I need to do is. Uh, so I need to since I'm selecting the column right I need to spread it uh, so and um, column underscore asterisk so so the whole thing here would be select call zero call one call zero comma call one comma call two comma call three something like that so person df three dot show So as you can see, right, we have a code zero, code one, code two, right? Because we have basically three columns, right? So that is why we have code one, code two, code three, and uh, so the our code size is uh, three. So the next thing I need to do is basically, um, so I need to get the headers because I'm going to be, I'm going to need the headers. So um here so before this uh, data frame i need to define a header ever headers equal to um so uh, that would be um select no uh, person df2 dots which um uh, dot um select okay i need to use select um so i need to get value column and get the first so because the our column is at the first uh, row right so that's why i'm getting the, the the first one but if it's not that is not the case if your column is in, maybe in third row you have to use the where uh, the column Cut to the value column equal to call size, but in this case we have a column in the first row. So the first dot. Um, so what I want to do is basically um, get it as a get it as a, a sequence here, and then convert it to a list to list and. If I say print line headers, you will see our headers. Okay, let me run it. So you can see this is our header name, gender, age. So the next thing I need to do right is since we have this code zero, code one, code two, what I need to do is get rid of this one because that that is not going to be part of our data. That is just column name so the way i can get rid of this uh, that particular row is basically 
um, by defining a zip index, I mean by adding a zip index uh, to that uh, column. So I'm going to define a new variable called zip index and I'm going to use person df3 dot with color no I'm going to convert it to rdd then use zip with index on it then so I'm going to map it and uh, so basically when you convert it to rdd it's going to give you this row right and when you add zip in with index right to it it's going to the zip with index will be, will be additional uh, integer right so so what I can do is basically add zip with index to the row and to do that I'm going to specify a case here case row which is the original row then index which is basically the zip with index integer so I'm going to use a spark row then does from sequence then I'm going to convert the original row uh, which is row dot to sequence then I'm going to add the zip with index uh, integer to it which is index so now we have our RDD right then later we can now convert this RDD to data frame but to convert it to data frame we have to define a schema for that index so that would be um, in the uh, let's say var index schema okay or oh, let me say new schema equal to um so that is going to be passing the original data frame which is passing the f3 dot um, schema dot add so we want to add a new uh, schema which is index new column then we're going to use a long type and the um, null label will be false. So now we can create a new data frame for a person df4 equal to a spark session, spark session dot create data frame and uh, we're going to use zip index as our RDD zip index then we're going to assign a new schema to it so now we can say person df4 dot show so false so let's print it and see the results so it's running okay now you can see we have the index as a part of the column right so we have zero one two three and so and what i want to do and uh, our main goal is to get rid of this uh, column name that's part of the data so to do that you have to let define a new a new uh, data frame called passing d5 equal to um, passing DL4 dot with um, um now dot where so we want to say where the call so where the call uh, I mean where the index right where the index column index column is greater than or equal to one so that is the one we want so let's say person df5 dot show All right. and let's run it so as you can see right um we have now got rid of the column right the next thing we need to do is basically drop this index and rename this column using the headers that we got here so we can now say passing the five dot drop index text column then dots to df 
So to clear, we want to use the head as well. Head as, as the new column. Then don't forget to spread it. Now we can say the show. So we should be able to get a complete data frame. Alright, so now we have got our complete data frame. We got name, uh, column, gender column, and age column. So basically, that is how you can convert any um, text file content into a data frame using Spark. So um, yeah, that is it. That is it for this video, guys. Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and leave a comment. Um, that is it for now. Have a lovely day and goodbye.